What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. First and foremost, I just wanna start off by saying I apologize that this video took me so long to finally get up. To be perfectly honest with you, I have been dealing behind the scenes with some serious mouth pain, like right now. <laughs> I actually have to get my wisdom teeth out tomorrow. Without treatment, here's what should look like age 11, age 14, age 17, and finally, age 18. Cool, should be a freak, but... So anyways, long story short, if I'm talking a little bit funny throughout this video or if my face looks weirder than it usually does, that's because I'm biting on my cheek constantly. The dentist said I just simply have too small of a mouth to accommodate this, this many teeth. <laughs> Now that you got a dose of my reality, I'm very excited to share with you a pretty nice Petula haul. I'm talking from their last three collection drops. We're looking at the Bear Pro, Here Comes the Sun, and their latest Grab and Go capsule. So I have a little taste test of all three here. Everything in today's haul is in my true size small. Over here are my measurements. I'll have them down in the description box below. And I'll also have every piece linked too in case you're interested in checking them out. As always, I do have my support code, it's Ash G and it does save you, I believe, 5% off your entire order and, of course, helps support our relationship with Petula here on this channel. Oh, and while you're at it, definitely hit that subscribe button. You know that helps out. So first, I wanted to start with the Bear Pro. Let's start with the earliest and move up to the latest, shall we? Now, the Bear Pro, I'm gonna go ahead and say this right here, right now, out of everything you're about to see, is my favorite collection out of them all. I'm wearing the Triangle Bralette with the Bear Pro six inch short in the color lavender. Now with their Bear Pro pieces, they have a very slight marl texture to it. So you're gonna see a little bit of breakup. If you're unfamiliar with this fabric, it's very brushed, very soft. I actually have a few of their leggings in their Bear Warmth. Those are really good for the cold weather months, keep you nice and toasty. So this is a branch off of that. Their Bear Pro is workout friendly, much thinner, but yet still gives you that cozy feel in my opinion. What I love about these shorts is that it's not very compressive around the waistband. So I favor this style very much so because I don't want to be hugged too tight around my midsection. The shorts are really good at not rolling like any of their shorts. But do keep in mind, I have a six inch short. They come in four inch as well. We actually have a printed logo on the back that's silver. I thought that was a little strange to put silver on a lavender piece, but hey, it's okay. It doesn't take away from the piece and it doesn't look ugly. So I guess that's all that matters. <laughs> Do keep in mind though, with this material, you will see sweat. If you sweat a lot, you're gonna see it, but it's very good at breathing through, wicking it away off of your skin. As beautiful as this color is, I mean, right? It comes with its little bit of flaws, and that would be, it's like dumb sheer. It's like stupidly sheer. Not even squatting, but just standing. You can see the tag full on through, Never mind squatting in the black undies, which I did. I'm not getting any type of dreaded CT. This is even with me wearing super thin, seamless underwear. Now, I've said in my previous videos, when I wear thin, seamless undies, it really runs a risk of me getting a camel toe. I always suggest if you deal with serious camel toe issues, you just need to opt for a thicker undie. There's pros and cons. The thicker cotton-based underwear, it's gonna help conceal the camel toe, but the drawback is, nine out of 10 cotton base are not seamless. So you'll probably see some VPL. The triangle bralette, however, I love it. I love it so much. I love it because right off the bat, they make my girls look pretty big. <laughs> Just because of how the bra pads sit, they add a little girth to this area. These straps over time, I do think if I wore these for like eight to 10 hours, they're gonna start to dig. Actually, yeah, I can see a little line forming here. So I wouldn't wear this all day long, but I do think it's overall very flattering. What I like about this bra is that there's no thick band under here that's compressing right around my rib cage, causing the unwanted bulge, like you're gonna see in a few of the other pieces. They did add in a very tiny, thin elastic band underneath, but it's undetectable. These are adjustable straps and you do have removable bra pads. Overall take from this bra, very flattering. I think if you're in between, you should really size down. I feel like I could have gotten away with it because I feel like I have extra room in these bra cups, I'm not quite filling them out. But if we have similar measurements, but your breasts are bigger, than mine, you're gonna look amazing in this. <laughs> Very low support sports bra. If you're looking for straps that are a little more comfortable for all day wear, check out the Bear V bra. So I have this set in black with the same shorts you just saw. Again, super flattering. You have a V cut, 
thick straps that cross in the back. Only difference from this one to this one, thicker straps and they're not adjustable. You also have a very thick band here. So if you need a little more support than this, check out the V-Bra. If you're looking for something a little more squat proof, grab the darker shorts. They're not digging in, just like the waistband. This is why I find these shorts to be super comfortable. Even if I'm just running errands, yeah, man. Even though these are black, if you look closely, you can see that light gray marl. I still think this is very flattering on the glutes. There's no actual glute enhancement on this piece. You have a very gentle V seam, but I think it hits just right. You know what I mean? It's not over the top. These are great basics. About to get a little complicated with the next few pieces you're about to see. We are now moving on to the Here Comes the Sun collection. I have here the Notch Cropped Tee and the Cassie Short Six Inch in the color Lucky Charm. <laughs> Now this is made out of their Cassie material. When comparing it to the Bear Pro, Bear Pro has a way more brushed feel, very soft and stretchy. This is still very soft and stretchy, just not as brushed. Let's start with the shorts, again, six inch. I think it's really classy. <laughs> I'm gonna use the word classy for whatever reason, but it's true, it's classy. It's a classy move on Petula's part to have multiple inseam choices. You'll see that they do the same thing with a lot of their leggings too. Four inch or six inch. First and foremost, very solid color, no marl breakup. The seam is different than the Bear Pro. Bear Pro has a flat lying seam down the glutes to separate. This one has more of a focalized seam, almost bulkier, not so flat lying, but that's okay. It's not something I feel. It didn't interrupt my movements. It's not something I even noticed, uh, honestly, until I just looked at it now. Big takeaway from these shorts, since they are super similar to the Bear Pro, same length and everything. The big difference is this waistband. It's more compressive, a little too compressive. So honestly, if I could do it all over again, I think I'm gonna size up next time in this type of material. I'm cool with my size small in the Bear Pro shorts, but if I'm looking at the Cassie material, I think sizing up for me would be in my favor. I think it would eliminate some of the thigh cinch, not that it was uncomfortable, but I felt like it could have been let up just a bit. A pretty big wow moment I had with this piece is the fact that I performed the sweat test and saw nothing. There was no sweat showing through, none. But as great as that is, that just means that there's no sweat getting wicked off your body. Therefore, a few minutes after the sweat test, when I would feel my lower abdominal, it's all wet. So it's one of those things. Do you wanna see the sweat, but your skin underneath gets pretty dry? Or do you want the sweat to be concealed, but it's just trapping that sweat on your stomach or wherever you're sweating? I would say these shorts, along with the Bear Pro, are very cellulite friendly. Same situation with the camel toe. Thin underwear, good chance I'm getting camel toe. Thick underwear, I'm good. No roll up whatsoever, very squat proof. They did a great job on this material. This material's pretty interesting because again, sweat concealment, no sheerness. I'm impressed, I really am impressed. If I sized up, I think this would be a 10 out of 10 for me. The only issue I might run into, I wouldn't know because I haven't sized up yet, is maybe potential wrinkling around the groin, I don't know. Speaking of wrinkling, the notch crop tee, okay. So uh, a lot to love about this tee. First of all, the neckline stood out to me. I think it's a really cute, interesting, unique neckline. They went with the short sleeves on this. So right off the bat, I had a feeling. I had a real guttural instinct <laughs> that the sleeves would be too tight around my arms. And guess what? It was not. There was a beautiful let up. I had no issue with arm cinch. Really nice crop length. Saw a little torso, but for the most part, I was pretty covered. When I move around in this baby, the wrinkle it just smacks you in the face. It just, it, it roughs you up a bit. I saw right around the neckline too. If you're gonna move around in this thing, you can definitely expect it to bunch and wrinkle and not look super flattering in a lot of instances. I like what they were trying to do with this top. And again, when it's really nice and situated, it looks really cute with the shorts. I just really can't get behind something that I have to be too mindful of with how I move, you know, and constantly tugging down. It's a little too much upkeep for me. Um, but what I do like about this top is that there is a full-on built-in shelf bra with bra pads. So at least that's taken care of. <laughs> very low support in the bust area. Shorts are very moderate support as well. So I think if you wanna wear this as an athleisure set, I mean, the shorts you could totally rock at the gym. Go for it. I would say if you're in between size down, maybe that'll help with the wrinkle. But guess what? For me, there's a band in this shelf bra and that band was sitting a little too snug underneath. But I'll be damned if I try sizing down to avoid wrinkle and then I'm left with an 
extra bad band cinch. That's just not gonna happen. Last up, the grab and go capsule. Oh, we're back to the silver logo, are we? We're looking at the Sierra legging in the color sky blue, 23 inch. They also have the option for 26 inch for my taller gals. This sits so perfectly around my anklets, right around my cankles, baby, yes. I compared the different materials between the grab and go capsule and the here comes the sun capsule. They're virtually the same. They both said 80% polyester, 20% spandex. So I'm gonna assume it's identical. So I did experience that same compression in the band. I think sizing up would have been okay in these, especially if you're in between. But overall, really nice, solid, simple piece. Sky blue is very pretty, very misty. What's different about these bottoms from the Here Comes the Sun and the Bear Pro, these have the discreet built-in scrunch. That elastic thing just, mm, mm, mm. it really does something back there, done it. They mixed up the seams a little bit here. This is like double seamed around the arched glute, flat lying seam right down the center, very soft, stretchy material, just like before. Especially with this light of a sky blue color, I was expecting to see the sweat show through, nothing. I actually tried to make the sweat show through. I was like patting at my stomach, pressing on in, and it still didn't show. And again, super duper squat proof. If you're looking for some basics, some very simple gym wear or street wear, you want something that's flattering, but yet really durable where it counts, such as being squat proof, I really do recommend these leggings. Tula has a good, a very good reputation. I see a lot of nice things being said on all different forums about this brand, and I could definitely see why. Their quality is very good. To pair with that sky blue Sierra legging, I went with the diamond back sports bra in white. Very, very thick sports bra. The material, so stinking thick. Probably said this before, but I mean, this feels just like Buff Bunny. Buff Bunny's very thick bras that they like to come out with, super similar. This bra caught my eye because the backing is so beautiful. The straps are so soft and stretchy. I love that lace up design, but I actually really appreciate the straps where it actually sits on your shoulder are very, very thick great for all day wear, but a few things. Okay, so this is a square neck, moderate coverage. I feel like there was a little bit of room in the front for me, but I definitely can't size down because this band, I mean, you can see it in the overlap, very compressive. For some reason, they're tops with these bands. They're just too tight on me. I love it being nice and loose. Like this bra here, the Bear Pro Triangle Bra, this is great. There's no digging. This is why it's my favorite. But with their other bras, I'm just struggling here. These thick bands are just too much for me sometimes. So I definitely couldn't size up because then there'd be way too much room in the front and it'll look baggy on me. I guess I'm in that awkward sizing with them where if I size up, my boobs won't fill it out, but I'm a little conflicted because my size small is just too tight around my rib cage. If you're in between, size up. I might just take a chance next time and size up anyway. Last set of the day we're gonna be talking about. We're looking at the Brahmi top and the Sierra short in six inch in the color Carib. This is a very cool tone brown, very dusty. These are the same thing as the Sierra legging you just saw, just the shorts version. You still have that built-in discreet scrunch that I love, hugging the glutes really perfectly. No roll up, super squat proof, great with sweat, same business. Still snug around the waistband, again. Size up if in between. Next time, I'm just sizing up completely. I mean, do you see how small that waistline is right there? That band looks so tiny. Even when I pulled it out of the bag, I was like, yeah, no way. <laughs> The Brahmi top, I actually really like a lot. I didn't notice any digging with this built-in shelf bra. I think this is a very flattering, adorable crop top. It is high neck. I appreciate that there's some room right around the armpits. It cuts in very beautifully. The straps are not adjustable. You have these little baby thin straps up top, barely there really. And it has some nice coverage in the front. I feel like with the shorts, it really does look like the perfect early fall fit. If I saw a guy wearing this, I'd be like, girl, where did you get that set? That's mad cute. But I'm super antisocial, so I probably just think it, but never actually say it. Full back coverage. I really have no complaints with this. You have that whole built-in shelf bra with the bra pads. Really like that they do that with a lot of their tops. You don't have to fish around for a bra that will be suitable. I mean, especially with this cut of a top, good luck. If you're in between, 
I think sizing up might be in your best interest only because these straps are not adjustable. It can run snug. Now, overall, I do think a lot of Patula's pieces, if you're in between, overall, you could just get away with sizing up. I noticed that a lot of their pieces for me in particular run a little bit small, especially the bands, like their waistbands and their bra bands. That's where I'm feeling a little constricted. Now, I know that some of you may not care about the compression in the waistband because you actually actually prefer that. Say you wanna work out, you want some tummy control, and that's great. Drop a comment down below. What was your favorite collection today? Did you see any pieces that caught your eye? Thank you for being here and listening to me ramble as usual. I love you guys, and I will catch you in my next video.